a division championship, a trip to the All-Star Game, and a Stanley Cup. Sounds like a solid career for most, but for Ryan Getzloff, this is what he's accomplished in less than three seasons in the NHL. As this season comes to an end, Getzloff led the Ducks in scoring and is poised for another run for the Cup. We thought it would be great to get up close and personal with Ryan Getzloff at a place where he feels the most comfortable, his home. So we're here in Aliso Viejo. Let's see if he's home and hopefully he'll give us a, a tour of his nice crib. Wow. <laughs> Hello. Hey Ryan, what's up? How you doing? Surprise. Surprise. Can we come in? No. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Come on in. All right. Thanks for having us. Yeah, no problem. Wow, Ryan. Um, as a as a woman, I'm actually just impressed. Just oh, yeah? standing here in in your in your foyer because did you decorate this yourself? I mean, I did most of it, I guess. I didn't do all of it, but uh, I got the most of it done myself. Yeah. What was your inspiration? Because you have a lot of you know dark wood, and um, I love the the texture of the paint and stuff. That's faux paint, huh? Oh, that was all done before I moved in. Oh, it was. Okay. Yeah, I just put stuff on the walls. Did you pick out the furniture in here? Or? Yeah, yeah. You know? I went and picked out. I just went around and stuff, and we went and picked out. This is a big table. I just needed a big table for this room, pretty much for nothing because I never eat at it. But <laughs> just for decoration. Yeah, it's it? for decoration to fill the room. I probably would have been better off with a pool table or something. But yeah. it's good for when you have a bunch of people over, which does happen on rare occasions. I like the are those fresh cut flowers or yeah. Those? Well, those? more plastic. But. They're plastic. <laughs> They look real. Though. They do look yeah. real. I'm impressed. And I like the wine bottles on the uh, on the wall there. Are you a big wine drinker? Uh, I'm not a huge wine drinker, but I am drinking more, like getting into it more, kind of as I get older and stuff. And we just, I actually just found that at uh, I was at that swap meet. Oh yeah. Okay. And uh, at the fairgrounds or whatever the one day, and the guy there was I saw him making some and just picked out a few and uh, I like them for this wall. So. I know coming from Canada, everyone's pretty much a beer drinker, so oh, yeah. trying to get into wine is a, it's a little difficult, isn't it? Is. It is, yeah, but you kind of have to, I guess, once you're a hockey player, it's kind of a thing that you have to do. Yeah, it's kind of Because most of the team dinners, you have to pay for it anyway, so you might as well <laughs> drink the stuff. Red or white, what's your favorite? Red. Red? Yeah. 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 Now, then this we're into is the kitchen. a chicken kitchen. I, I'm a big cook, so I mean, do you cook? Because this is like, this is a kitchen where you cook and entertain. I, uh, I do cook quite a bit and I, I like to, and that's why I, I do like a big kitchen. So. What's your signature dish? I don't know. I don't really have one. I cook everything. So, after practice, what would be like your go-to meal that you'd like, like to cook if you had? I love steak and stuff, so oh, anything okay. for dinner and that, I barbecue and stuff out back. I'll take you out there after and got a pretty good setup out there around the barbecue too. So. Okay, now, this right here, <laughs> um, I'm sure a lot of people at home are just going to, are falling in love with this thing, so <laughs> just tell me about it. Where did you get it? And Wow, that is, uh, impressive. <laughs> That speaks for itself, I guess. You know exactly what it is, but it's uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a cool thing that you you have kind of more on a bar if you had one. But uh, my brother actually got it for me one year for Christmas, so it was kind of a nice addition to the house. I love that. Do you know where he got it? I want one. I don't know. <laughs> he got it in Canada. Wow, these are these are when you first got in. Yeah, they're all rookie uh, cards, I think. How much do you think these are worth? You know. Oh, it can't be more than 50 cents or so. <laughs> we built in and put the microwave in the cabinets and stuff too. So I like that when everything's yeah, hidden everything kind of looks and not more clean and yeah, simple. And then the fridge is not a whole lot in here. We we're on the road for quite a while, so and we'll go. Uh, this is just the living room where oh, this is the cool. TV. Is this where you spend most of your time? More or less, yeah. Yeah. You sit here and watch TV. Yeah, this is cool. Kind of 
figured out how big I could put in there, and then I went and got the biggest one I could get. See? You have to have the big screen, right? Of course. Yeah. So, this is to my Grand Faith Hill, right? This is their. Yep. Did yeah, you go to their I went to their Soul to Soul tour this summer at the at the pond when they came down, and I was able to weasel my way in to kind of meet them and stuff. So I got to meet them before the concert and take some pictures with them and stuff. And Tim signed that for me. So, so how were they in person? What was it like? Awesome. Yeah. Great people. Yeah, both of them are awesome. They uh, they're a lot of fun, and get, uh, it was a it was a big thing for me to meet them. I'm a big country fan. And, yeah. Uh, I had seen Tim once before, but I never saw him together, so. You have a lot of favorite country music singers. Yeah, I do. Favorites? Yeah, yeah, I listen to pretty much anything country, but. We got hockey cards from the other night from that fan thing. Somebody gave them to me, so they're still sitting out. Wow, these are, these are when you first got in. Yeah, they're all rookie uh -huh. cards, I think. How much do you think these are worth, you know? Oh, it can't be more than 50 cents or so. <laughs> <laughs> do you keep, I mean, do you have every kind of email? Uh, do you I keep don't it? have all of them. I was, you know what, it was kind of a thing that it's not easy to, it's not easy to get them all. There's so many out there that, it, you know, you kind of get them here and there from different people. And I have most of the ones, I have all the ones actually that Upper Deck has ever done. So. You surprised ever, like when you get one, you're like, oh my God, that's a card that yeah, I don't have. Exactly. Uh, okay. Lots. So Ryan, we are obviously in a very special part of the room. Yep. Tell me about Stanley Cup rings here. Uh, this is, yeah, I have a few rings here. It's kind of, uh, this one I won under 18 World Championship with Canada. And then this one I won uh, the World Junior Championship with Team Canada as well. And then obviously <laughs> the big boy that we won last year, so. I mean, obviously I know the Stanley Cup just means so much. I know you're young, but to get this ring at the World Junior uh, World Championships. How special was that? That was awesome. You know what? Those, you know what? You don't really know what it's like until you play, like you're playing for your country and stuff. And uh, you know, and that's something that I've always enjoyed. And I've played in a few tournaments for Canada with the under 17, under 18, the World Juniors twice. I lost one year. And, <laughs> um, so those things, those were pretty special to me at that time. And you know, it's it's funny because it kind of progresses as you go along. Like if you look at that one, it's kind of small and there's a few diamonds in it and then the World Junior one's got a few more diamonds in it and then we got the, the serious ultimate prize right there here. <laughs> the one that uh, the one that's got all the bling in it so, so it's heavy right yeah. because I know you know we've, we've heard it's heavy but yeah, it's not light here I'll try it on, <laughs> try it on. It? you want two fingers or <laughs> <one>? <laughs> let's see how many can I get no, yeah. no. Yeah. almost no the, the middle yeah. finger <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, they're pretty nice. So. Do you wear it a lot, or is it just do you just keep it here? No, I just keep it kind of. I mean, it, they're pretty big rings to be wearing around and stuff, and I yeah. think it's kind of just more of a maybe on a special occasion or something. If we do something with the team, we'll all wear them or something. Okay, this is very uh, official room. It seems like your <laughs> office. It's <laughs> so official, yeah. Like I do a lot of office business, but. No, I just, uh, this is kind of just the setup for the computer and that stuff. And a lot of my uh, kind of memorabilia stuff that I have right now is put up in here a little bit and get a picture of my brother and some of my friends and stuff up there. He's, uh, he's actually a pro football player in Canada, so. That's right, he's, uh, gosh, I wanted to say the Eskimos, but it's uh, yeah. Saskatchewan. He plays for Saskatchewan now, good for you. Right, he got I traded back that. there, back to our hometown, so. Chris Getzlaff. Yeah. You guys close? Yeah, very close. So is this the room you probably spend the least amount of time in? Yeah. I'm not a, actually a huge computer guy either, so I don't really come in here all that much. You big emailer or, no, or text messaging? No, not really. Messaging? Text message or something, yeah. yeah. I'm not, uh, not a big anything kind of guy like that. I'd rather just leave that stuff alone. And this is kind of just a celebration of last year. And, you know, obviously with Corey and, and Dustin up there in the middle. And, just a few pictures that I got from different people yeah. from last year. So. And then that's my first goal. My first goal puck. You'll always remember that moment, won't you? Yeah. Do you remember it? Oh, yeah. How'd you feel? I felt good. <laughs> <laughs> we lost the game though, kind of sucked. But. So it was a little bittersweet for you, though, yeah. right?